everybody, what's up? Circus here coming at you with another XZ's video. Uh, the last one we did did really well and people really liked it. And someone in the, in the comments asked if we could do a video on which archetypes would be best for XZ's. So I brought back PDS and Kamel to talk about that tonight. Uh, how are you guys doing? Doing great. I'm doing amazing, Circus. Great glad to be here. All right, so uh, PSI had asked you if you had some ideas for what we have now in the game that would be good, and then in the second part, we'll talk about what might be coming out realistically uh, in Duel Link. So if you want to maybe start with what we have now that might be good, that'd be great. Yeah, so you have it loaded up right here. So my Dolce's mm -hmm. is one of the decks that's uh, had a bunch of support with XCs. Um, so... Hoop Cake, uh, the card you had, it's, it's on the third row, very first card. So Hoop Cake is uh, one of those cards where it's like, you target a monster in the graveyard, banish it, and you special summon a Madolce monster from your deck. So uh, any like archetype that is able to summon a monster from the deck is like pretty much just a good choice for XCs because mm -hmm. you know you want to turbo out two monsters out at the same time. So Hoop Cake can get another, uh, for instance, another... Um, level three monster and you can go for a rank three like that okay uh but you know obviously you need to have a card in your graveyard so uh right off the bat i would just think something like um what grows in the graveyard you know the akiza skill mm -hmm. it puts the, the dark verger in the graveyard so something like that um and we have uh like a crazy amount of rank three xyz's and they have their own xyz as well i don't think we're gonna get it because it's a little bit too powerful it's on the um yeah, that one is fine, but the one on the the first page, the Tier Masu yep. on the bottom right. Yeah, that one is really, really, really good. It's like a uh a, you basically target two Madolches in your graveyard, you put it back in your deck, and then you shuffle two cards in your opponent's field into the deck. It's pretty crazy. Oh wow. That would yeah, be nice to do. <laughs> yeah, it's and it's it's like a uh, you know, you need two Madolche monsters. So it's it's not like a generic thing. Okay. So that would nice. be uh one one archetype just just because of the uh, hoop cake and also the uh, I believe it's on the fourth row on the it's the second card in the fourth row. The it's like cat. Yeah, I forget his name though. Mewawful yes. or something. Yeah, like that, that that one lets you summon one from your hand, so it, it gives you you know more ways to put multiple Madolce monsters on the field. Okay. So, so what we're looking for is something kind of with synchro summoning, right? You want to be able to summon and then special summon quickly. Yes. Oh, and I, ideally you get to do it without using what's already in your hand. So like the hoot cake, you know, banishing from your grave to get one from the deck. That's a, we can call okay. that a plus, right? Cause that's, mm -hmm. you're using a resource from your grave and then at the an additional card. So usually with hoot cake, um, you can summon Messenger Gelato, and then Messenger Gelato gets you a Madolce Spell or Trap. So you get, um, you go plus two off of that. Yeah, and he's level four, so you can make, uh, if you have another level four monster, you know, it just depends on what you want to make. But yeah, that's basically Madolce's. Um, okay. They have a lot of ways to get into XCs. All right, and then next one? All right, so the next one we are going to look at is uh, Artifacts. Artifacts, you know, you're familiar with. Lancia, you're familiar with. Uh, we have a bunch of the the bad ones. Like uh, nobody really uses them too much, but they're in the game. Um, so these yeah, have. I forgot effects. we had these. <laughs> yeah. So these have effects when you're uh, when they're destroyed during your opponent's turn. They special summon themselves. So. Okay. Um. So their XC's Durandal is pretty interesting. It has an effect that's uh, basically. You can shuffle both of your um, hands back into the deck. It's pretty so, like you know, like let's say they go to search for something. You just uh, after they're done searching, you shuffle the hand back into the deck, so they basically lose what they search for. Oh no! So and I, I noticed with these XYZ cards or XZ's cards, the, the the print keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah, <laughs> they start squeezing more yeah. and more effects into them. It's just because at first it tells you that you have to detach an XZ's material. Mm -hmm. But uh, something to point out about uh, previously the archetype that we went over in Madolce's was that the effect was 
non-targeting shuffling, something that is going to be very powerful in the Xyz meta if we do end up getting these cards, non-targeting effects, which is something that you need at the at the moment to be powerful in Duel Links. Like, uh, you know, like Cositis can't be targeted, so he just basically ignores all of that. doesn't matter. Another thing I wanted to say is um, so detaching a material is basically so to XC summon you need two monsters of the same level. Mm-hmm. So you basically just stack on top of each other, and then the XC's monsters. If you notice on a normal monster, the stars are on the right side. Right, right. And they're they're red, but on XC's monsters they're black and they're on the left because they're not they don't have levels. They're called ranks. And so why is that? Just a uh, just something different, basically. Basically, you know, cards that affect levels don't affect these guys. Oh, okay. So, um, okay. there. So, if it needs two level fives, it's going to be a rank five. You know, if it needs two right. level, it's going to be a rank four. So, okay. then from there, they call it detach. So basically, what it is is you remove one card that's under it and you put it to the grave. And it's. It's uh, it's not the same as being sent from the field to the graveyard. It's just like in space somewhere, and it gets sent to the grave. And why did so, they do that? It was that something to do with the anime, or is it just a weird game mechanic? Well, or what was happening? I think um, when it was originally being ruled, it was from the field to the grave, and people started really abusing Sangin because you know they would send Sangin from the grave from the material to the graveyard, and they would start searching cards. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's kind of nice, though. Yeah, you should be able to choose what you detach, of course, because you don't want to. Sometimes you don't want to detach something. Like uh, there's cards, you know, you can suck up your opponent's card and you just have it under your guy, you know, and you don't give it back to them. Oh, right. There was also, you know, things in the TCG where there's this card called uh, 101. He would take one of your opponent's monsters. So what happened, you know, is the game's over and you clean up all your cards and you go to your next match and you're like, oh. I accidentally took that guy's card, you know, like that. You know, accidentally that would, in air yeah, quotes. Course, yeah, yeah, accidentally. <laughs> yes. Nice. So, uh, so yeah, that's artifacts. Mm-hmm. Um, we, sh- we, I don't know if we'll get um, Alder. They have a trap card that summons them from the deck, and we have the quick play spell, but I don't know if we're going to get all of those cards. I mean, mm-hmm. for now, the only one that really sees play is Lancia, so. Right. Um, next up, we have Heretics. Yeah, so a bunch of these are um, are you can normal summon them, but uh, their attack becomes a thousand, and then if they're tributed over, you special summon a vanilla monster from the deck. That's basically, um, and you would you would summon a level six vanilla monster, and you can go for their, um, you know, that's a whole rank six little toolbox. You can go into a bunch of them. Um, okay. They have a searcher called Atum, and he summons a dragon, any dragon from the deck. So you can do a lot of plays with him. Is it meant to be like cross archetype too when we get yes, to the yes. Um, okay. Yeah, you, you see often, so like Heretics, you know, they summon a vanilla monster usually. Mm-hmm. So you can see people summoning like blue eyes. You know, okay. they start, um, yeah, they start, you know, mixing decks. So we're, just we're never getting, you know, we're never getting rid of blue eyes then. Um, you know, maybe uh, rank <laughs> eights are really strong. So the, okay. the you know the level eights, yeah, rank eights are really good. So like for instance, just to give you an example, you know, Alistair and Malehu, they're both level fours. Mm-hmm. You can go like summon Alistair, get invocation. You make a rank four. You send them both to the grave. Then you can turn Malehu to like fire, and then you can fuse, and so you have your your X Y Z, and then you also have the fusion. So, oh, I, I hope you know. I hope, I hope they're not in the game still when when they're out, because I think that'd be kind of ridiculous. But just be really gross. Personally, <laughs> uh, just one that I know is Heretic Sun Dragon, Overlord of Heliopolis. Oh yes, the level eight. This is okay, a rank. This is a rank eight Xyz monster, uh, Heretic Sun Dragon. If you want to look it up, Circus. This will pair very well with Blue Eyes if we do have it in the game. It is a generic rank 8 Xyz monster that has a, while it is an ignition effect, it's a pretty powerful and generic one. Detach one Xyz material, tribute number of monsters you control from your hand or side of the field and destroy the equal number of cards. 
this is another card that doesn't target. Yeah, non-target. You know? Yeah, really good. So and also it tributes from your hand. Very good so, card. So you can um, trigger a bunch of the heretic cards. It's a it's a really interesting card. But yeah, so um, you know, a lot of these decks are in filler boxes. Like you probably have them and you don't even realize that you have them. Right, so, right. So yeah. all these investments that you made that you thought were no good, maybe when Xyz comes out, it'll be worth it. We're only missing a couple of these Xyz cards. If they are to appear in Duel Links, you will know which archetypes to grab if they're only containing Xyz monsters. It's like another thing, you know, that's like, so the artifacts were for rank fives. This is for like rank six, rank eights. Madolce is, is like rank threes, rank fours. So you got a bunch of um, mm -hmm. a bunch of options. So okay. uh, next one is old one. Um, Hazy Flames. That is a, oh, a no. really old one. No, don't say it. Don't so, say it. So that's They're another back, baby. Yes, they have you know access to rank fives with the Sphinx special summoning one of the Hazy Flames back. Yep. So, so you get, uh, or I'm sorry, they rank sixes. So they rank, uh, you know, you special summon a Hazy Flame back with the Sphinx, and then you have access to the rank six engines. They have their own XCs as well. Well, this one's yes, really sick never... too, right? Doesn't one of them summon like two of them out to the field, and then yeah, exactly. you? exactly okay isn't it this for, one the parrington or whatever yeah, it is yeah yeah for a short time there was a uh a three-star demotion hazy flame deck but before i got nerfed the the skill but yes uh so you get access to the rank six they call it a toolbox you know because you you basically once we hit xc's uh if you need a certain boss monster for a certain situation you'll have access to it just by having Right, and um, like you don't have to. Right, you don't have to have just the hazy monsters, right? Or, yeah, I'm exactly. sorry, going to the hazy boss. You so can... they call they call it a toolbox because you know, like, let's say you desperately need cosmic cyclone, or you, you know, you need some form of removal. You're gonna have access to it now. You just need to level sixes. So that's why. Because you, you know, let's to... say you need to remove a monster. Well, do they ever get specific like uh, synchros where it's like one tuner and one warrior type monster? No, usually it's like two hazy monsters or okay. two level five monsters or two warrior or two level four warrior monsters. You know, it's it's never like, oh, you need a tuner monster. But right. So it does get a little specific then. It's not always just generic two level yeah, six monsters. Sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So hazy flames are going to give you access to those rank sixes. Uh, next up, we have Bujins. That's another old one. So, you know, Bujins. Yeah, so Bujins, they have access to Yamato, and I believe his name is Mikazuchi, the blue one. And uh, are the big yes. Bujin monsters we have right now. Yeah, oh, okay. so they have, you know, ways to get level fours onto the field. Um, obviously, they also, um, back when they were played a long time ago, they were playing Ties of the Brethren yep. just to get, you know, that. multiple. And then they would protect They would protect them. So that, that is a rank four um, deck. Um, oh. Their XCs are actually really powerful, too. Do they do they special summon any other way, or do you have to have Ties to do it? Oh, no, yeah. Mikazuchi summons himself. And okay. so does, um, I believe, Harume, and I forget the other one. Um, the one on the left, the top left, I forget his name. Is that well, one Harume? No, that's, that's not Yamoto. Scroll over him, Circus. Top left. Ah, Ar Arasuda, yeah, that guy. He's... So if a Bujin monster in your graveyard or pays up on the field is banished. So I well, think uh, Harume is the one that summons herself. Well, some of these sound like they'd be better if there was a main phase, too. So it's like yeah. if it gets destroyed by battle, if it gets banished. Yeah. Well, you protect Yamato with Crane, so that's the you know the thing. Okay. But anyways, their XCs. Um. So the Booj and XYZs are exclusive, mostly to Beast Warriors. So that's what they are, and they're really good. I um. Amaterasu is kind of. Yeah, he's a he's a big investment, but he does a lot. Kagasuchi mills five, so he was used a lot in like those grass decks for a while in TCG, because mm -hmm. you know he as soon as he summoned he mills five, and then uh, oh, wow. if a Bujin would be destroyed you can detach a material instead. That's a that's a big effect that they use. 
in a bunch of uh, mm -hmm. cards. So like you know, if if the monster would die, you detach a material instead. So okay. you know, he becomes like uh, you need to get him three times basically. Oh wow! Yeah, so it's uh, it's hard to remove it's, then. Exactly. Yeah, it's an annoying card. And then <laughs> Sus Susanoo is the one right next to it. He, I believe, he searches a card and pitches a card. If that's correct. Yeah, so you detach a material, you add a Bujin monster, and then um, and then uh, you can add it to your hand or send it to the grave. So you have either or. All right, so Noble Knights is the next archetype we're going to take a look at. So there's a bunch more, but we're just looking at a couple here. I don't want to make your head explode. So Noble Knights have a bunch of... They're actually an XYZ archetype primarily. In Duel Links, it was mostly a uh, a, a Madrat pop deck. Like, you know, you just focus on Madrat and mm -hmm. the Dristan. But Boars is actually really, really good. And, you know, nobody really used him in Duel Links, but he's really good for XYZ summons. So what you would do is... So Madrat equips a... You With Madrat, you equip a uh, equip spell, one of the swords... It uses okay. effect to summon boars, and then uh, when boars is summoned, the equip spell dies, and you put it on boars. So boars lets you mill three. Or I'm sorry, you reveal three, add one of them, and the other two go to the grave. So then, what you would do is you put the other equip spell onto um, you put the other equip spell onto Madrat, so they both become level five. So. Um, that wasn't a really an effect that really came up in, in when they were relevant, but in when we get XCs, they're gonna have access to the level five and level four noble knight XCs monsters. Oh, Rai is just excited right now. Yes. So the he level five, the level five X or the rank five XCs monster, he lets you pick three uh, noble knight um, spells and equip them to him. So. It's really, really. We could show it on stream. Uh, I forget his name. I think he's probably on the bottom left. X X Y Z, right here. No, um, he's on the next page. All right, there he is. He's right there on the third okay. row. Yes. Yeah, so when he summon, so Boars makes you send, you know, two. So you had, you're already full. So you just whatever you send, you get to add all three of them onto the spell and trap zone. And um, once per turn, you can detach the material. Or you can, yeah, detach material, target one monster in the field, and destroy it. So basically, the play style for this deck is like, you just turbo, you know, you send all the good equips, and then you put them all on him, and then you just sit on him for the rest of the game. So, in the XYZ or XZ's era, is there a lot of non-targeting cards? Because it seems like all the cards that we're talking about right now are just non-targeting. Just, it just says destroy. Yeah, this one does target, but yeah, there is... um. Um, for the for the most part, I think they're probably gonna give us a bunch of targeting ones, but you, you know there are effects that don't target. It's pretty powerful, but it's not a, a super common theme. But you know it does come up every now and then. So. Well, I didn't know if maybe that was one of the, the new things in the game. You know, it's like oh, Xyz is here with non-targeting destruction. No, no, the new thing you're gonna see a lot is those boss monsters that you know when they would be destroyed. Uh, you know, detached material instead, that kind of thing. That's, oh, okay. okay. So, like, yeah, that is a really prevalent, uh, prevalent um, effect. They use that on a lot of boss monsters. Okay. It's going to be the new keyword that you are going to have to learn and learn how to play around. And, of course, um, something like that actually does not start a chain link. So that's not something you can negate with, like, ultimate providence. Like detaching so, doesn't? Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. Okay. No, 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 no. Like it'll say like if this card is destroyed, detach detach, detach a material instead. Mm -hmm. Um, that kind of thing. Like that kind of wording, it does not start a ch it's kinda of like you know, like a Neo's fusion kind of protection. Like okay. you know, it doesn't yep. you can't negate that. Like it's just something that is part of the card. Okay. So all new gotta rule look sets that. people have to learn. Yeah, you know, you gotta fiendish chain those boys to to actually get rid of them. If you finish chain them, you're good though. Yeah, you just, no, no effects. All, All right, right so, see ya. So we covered some stuff that's in the game currently. Um, what's some stuff that maybe we could see in the future? All right, so um, 
first one is going to be uh, Galaxy, Galaxy Monsters. Uh, this is played by, I believe his name is Kaito in the anime. Don't quote me on that, though. Okay. Yes, Kaito. Oh, Kaito, Kaito yes. All right, so this is basically, you know, Blue Eyes? Mm-hmm. So imagine that, but with a, a space theme. That's basically okay. what Galaxy <laughs> Space so, dragons, I'm happy. Yeah, Hell right. yeah, man. They actually, I don't know if you knew this, Sergius, they have a Wizard of Oz uh, Star Wars archetype. No way, what's it called? It's called Cosmos, but that's for another time. All that's right. That's for another time. <laughs> so the main monster is the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. He is a level 8, just like Blue Eyes. He has 3,000 attack, just like Blue Eyes, but... Um, a lot of the deck focuses around, um, you know, being able to summon level 8 monsters. So Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, he's the main monster. Um, mm-hmm. And obviously, this is an archetype we're going to get because he is a main character in Zexel. So another card called Galaxy Knight. Basically, um, you can summon him and... You can target one Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon in your graveyard and summon him. So he is, you know, part of the, the little combo. So if you have a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon in your graveyard, you just summon him. And then right there, you got two level eights to go into a rank eight Xyz monster. So he is a very good card. Okay. Galaxy is, for anyone who has never experienced Xyz monsters before this is one archetype that uh i implore you to look out for how it is implemented into duelings it, it is extremely powerful and the effect monsters have very anti Xyz effects if you just look at galaxy eyes photon dragon you can banish both this card from the field and that target the target is usually an Xyz monster that you will banish from the field and then when it returns from the field it does not have his Xyz materials, correct? Exactly. It does not have them. Exactly. If, they, if, they leave the field, if they leave the field, they lose all their materials. They go to the grave. All right. So what's the next one on your list? Oh, I just wanted to say one thing. Though. Oh, I yeah. Yeah. So um, unlike synchros, you know, we're used to seeing, you know, on, in some decks, you can see a token as a synchro material you right. can't actually use tokens for xc summons though oh no so you know like if you have like a level four token on the field it can't be used for xyc material yeah okay. so that is, that is something to take into account all right so Moving next on, on the list is uh let's go ahead and look at heroic challengers this is uh, one of my what? favorites i love this too these you know you might be saying oh heroes what no these are not um th- those are not so the heroes uh in dual links already they all if you notice that's heroes in all caps so mm-hmm. you can only search those heroes these are different heroes these are not the same well these are challengers they want to become heroes you know what i mean they have exactly. to beat a hero to become a hero this is an archetype. I really like that second card. I believe his name is Assault Hybrid. He is a clapper. Yeah. Yes, that that guy is really, really good. So you basically, if you opponent controls a monster, you control no monsters. Summon him. So he's like a, a level four cyber dragon. And when he does, um, also he does piercing damage. And when he does any kind of damage to your opponent, you get to add uh, any heroic monster you want. So sometimes, you know, you can add another copy of him. So that you know, you can um, you can get a lot of advantage with him, and uh, Thousand Blade is also another good card. He is on the third row. He's the first card on the third row. Thousand Blade is when you take any bit of damage, um, you can summon him from the graveyard. So it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good effects. It works really well with uh, another card, but. You know that's 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 a DLE secret combo. We're gonna have to oh, save that okay. one for. So, if you like, comment, yeah. subscribe. We'll think about it. So, uh, the X Y Z monsters are really good. If you take a look at the first one, um, yes, that guy Excalibur. He is one of my favorites. He is two warrior monsters, two level four warrior monsters. You send both of the detached two of the materials to the graveyard and his attacks 
becomes double. So 4K damage, that is, you know, on a clear field, that's game, like, in Duelings. Well, this almost seems like something we could get, because the other one's got yeah. a lot of writing, and it gets all crazy. This seems really basic, right? It's like, that one it, the, yeah, that's one of the OG XCs. Like, that's... Okay. Uh, uh, I, I remember see... playing this in my hero deck, you know, because, you know, heroes play a lot of level four warriors, so. Okay. And you would do, like, miracle fusion, cool stuff with um, your hero deck. But anyways, yeah, so that so was always if, one of my. If you're following our new player video and you're getting your hero deck, you're getting yourself ready for heroic champions. Exactly. Right. Uh -huh. right? There's also another um, pretty good warrior. XYZ, we can take a look at him. His name is Blade Armor Ninja. He is not a heroic challenger, but he is, he, we'll call him an honorary one. He is another, um, what was his, his name, name is Blade Armor Ninja. He's not yet. Blade Armor Ninja. Oh, look at that guy. Yeah, so he's a, a ninja. He is another guy. You see two level four warriors. So you detach a material and you target one ninja monster you control and he can make a second battle phase. So that includes himself. So, you know, you can start going for game with this guy. You got 22 two times. He's a pretty, pretty cool card. And you can make him off of, you know, two little shitty uh, level four warrior monsters. So he's pretty cool. But, but yeah, Okay, so let's say you make your uh, your XYZ monster here uh, with, like, Celestial and Drill Dark. You know, you stack them on top of each other. You put uh, them underneath him. And then, like, you use the effect. You send them to the grave. Can you use the Celestial draw in theory? Once they've been so, detached, yeah. the next Finished? turn or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the next turn, yeah. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, that's another thing when you XCs, um, you know, like for instance, oh, let's take uh, Plague Spreader Zombie. So if you can pull up Plague Spreader Zombie real quick. Mm -hmm. So that's the card when you summon it off of the graveyard, right? When it gets, when it leaves the field, it'll get banished, you know? Like right. that is, uh, that everybody knows that. But if you use him for an XC summon and he gets detached, he actually goes to the grave. So, you know, oh, you can okay. really start um, doing some cool stuff. With it. Nice. Yeah, so you can basically, you know, like if you don't want to get banished, you can go into XC's monster. And then he, when he gets sent to the grave, he'll be, um, you know, he won't get banished. He'll just get sent to the grave instead. Oh, really so... quickly. And something you will be using with Plague Spreader Zombie particularly is Gachi Gachi Ganetsu. Yeah, he's an old boy. Yes. He's a, uh, he used to be a staple. Yeah, Gachi yes. Gachi. So, so this is, you know, one of those cards. If this card would be destroyed, detach the material instead. That's one, you know, that is a common effect. But face up monsters you control gain 200 attack and defense. So basically, when you make him, he boosts up your entire field by 400 and he protects himself. So that actually sounds like, like something we could get. Exactly, yeah. This is something we could get. And you know, you can use that to with uh, the what's it called? With the Blake Spreader. I believe uh, Kobo Hedgehog is a level two as well, yes. right? Yeah, he's another card where if he would leave the field, he gets banished instead. So you know you got a little you got a little deck here. You know you summon the, you can start abusing the plague spreader zombie and the quobo hedgehogs for rank twos. Oh man, you're gonna get you people have investing. Don't do that. They're gonna start investing. Like we gotta get three plague spreaders. We gotta get three quobo. Yeah, hedgehogs. man. And then I they're mean, gonna get mad when it doesn't happen. I mean, you don't have to get anything immediately because it's not going nowhere. So you're you're safe. <laughs> Just see how it all, you know, I'm just giving you, you know, those rank two ideas, those rank six ideas. It's something we already have in dueling. So we just need to X these monsters. All right. So well, why don't you give us one more? It's, it's going to be a, this is a tough one. This, I don't know which one I want to show you guys. I think uh, I'm going to go with, I think we could realistically get uh, battling boxers. That's a really yes. what? That's another good one. That's another yeah. good one. The, the stuff they come up with for archetypes. Like I thought we were running out of ideas, just no. like in regular duelings. And now I see this stuff, and it's like, come on, battling boxers. They have an archetype based on forks and spoons, so they they forks and they, spoons. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Oh, this right, is so, Hulk. This is Hulk in the ring. Look at that. That's cool. That's a really good one. So their main card is the lead yoke. He's on the second row. So basically, 
he is one of those boss monsters where if he would be destroyed, you detach a material instead. Okay. And uh, so, and when an XC's material is detached from him, you gain 800 attack points. So this guy gets to like 3,800 really easily. And then he becomes, you know, like if he would be destroyed, you detach one instead, right? Mm -hmm. And then he triggers his other effects. He boosts himself up. So if he would be destroyed, he's going to put himself up to 3,000. So the first time you go to kill him, he becomes 3,000. The second time you go to kill him, he becomes 3,800. So, and then you gotta kill him at 3,800. So you know you gotta you gotta have some some stuff to kill him. So it's, he's an interesting card. It sounds like the game is gonna drastically change if we're starting to get cards like these because it's like, how many times do I gotta kill this thing before I can exactly. swing for a game? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the thing, right? That is the mystery of learning what we're going to get in the next year. Is the game going to evolve in this direction of which you're going to have multiple removal to get rid of a boss monster? Or are they going to release cards that don't include this effect? That's what people are going to have to learn to play around, depending on what we get. Maybe they don't give us the ones that can't be destroyed, but you know that was a pretty um, common boss monster effect. You know, they just they just slapped it on any boss monster. Like, you know what? We need to give them the if you would be destroyed, attach a material instead. Right, so right. They, it was just kind of like a generic yeah, effect. Slapped right. it on all the boss monsters. So, yeah, um, and that's, you know, I'm just showing you archetypes. There's a ton of generic XYZ monsters as well, mm -hmm. but these are just archetypes that are based around XZs, so. Okay. So, no, they, this uh, is, yeah. no, this is all really good stuff. I, I'm The more we talk about it, um, the more excited I'm getting about it, because it's definitely going to make a, a huge change in the game. I'd say even more than Synchro Summoning did. Yeah. Because, you know, um, synchro summoning, you always need the tuner. And that's not just, that's something that all decks don't have. Like, take a look at uh, Element Sabers, for instance. They just don't run tuners. They don't do it. But every deck runs, like, similar levels, at least. So you can always stick XCs in there. Right. And it, it like we were saying, it doesn't have to be, like, archetype specific. It just has to be too... Uh... Monsters exactly. of the same level, so there's going to be some spice there. I would think people uh, pulling from different archetypes, you know, uh, like, we were, means... like we were I'm doing sorry. earlier tonight. You know, we had Performa Pals with uh, Psychic uh, Tracker and Psychic Wielder because they're all level threes and they can special summon off of each other. You know, something like that exactly. could be used with uh, uh, rank threes, right? Yes. So uh, we're doing this live, guys. There's a comment right now. Somebody asked, "Can I use?" And XC's monster can I XC summon with a trap monster like Kanadia? Oh the answer is yes. Yeah, you actually can. And that's like that's another thing where it's like Kanadia is a monster that when it would leave the field it gets banished. But if you make an XC's with it, it's gonna go to the grave again, and then when they activate a trap, you can summon it again. So you know, nice. it's one of those. Oh, it just gets broken after a while. You can keep looping it. Uh, yeah, that's actually a thing. You know, Paleos is actually an XC's archetype. I don't know if you guys knew this. It's a we, we know them only for the go. trap card. Yeah. But... So yeah, originally you know, it was an XZ's, a, okay. You want to take a quick look at them, Circus? Just to, just to give them a little taste. They'd be like, oh, a little, I didn't know little taste. So this was originally an XYZ or XZ's? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So uh, they have a card called Opabinia. Uh You're going to notice the common theme where all the Paleozoics have really uh, complicated names. But the, it's on the bottom left, the Opabinia. I'm I'm very used to seeing this card with like the 100 emoji and the but anyways uh <laughs> so this is a card he's unaffected by monster effects so oh my god you if they if they try to malehu him it doesn't work you know like he he doesn't care so you can activate paleo trap cards from your hand that is crazy <laughs> right like you know oh that you don't is have the... to set anything. The other effect is you detach a card and you add any Paleo Trap card you want from your deck. And you can activate it you know, on the same turn because you can use it from your hand. So they basically become spell cards. So it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if we're going to get him, but, you know, he's there. And the other guy, he needs three level two monsters. He's on the top left. His name is Paleo some, something, Animal, Animal Claw, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, his effect is if... A trap card is sent from the spell and trap zone to the graveyard. You can 
uh, mill the top card from your deck, and if it's a trap card, add it to your hand. Otherwise, you send it to the grave. So excavate is a term where you just look at the top card, and then you do whatever it says, like add it to your hand or send it to the grave. This other effect is detach a material to destroy a, um, I believe it's a card on the field. Yes, tar uh, you send one card, you detach a material, and just pop a card. And he's he's pretty big. He's got 2,400 attack. So. My predictions are like something like this will be very uh, far down the road where I think the ones that are, like you were saying, just if this card would be destroyed, you can detach one material. I think those are going to be the ones that become like, remember how like Xi'an, when that came out, it was just like, you know, so OP because it could do like one negate. You know, I think that's basically what we're going to be seeing is these, uh, an archetype's going to come out or an Exe's monster is going to come out and it's just going to be dominant because it just can't be destroyed because it has like that one effect yeah. on it. Like one good effect and then one effect to make it non-destroyable once per turn. Right, or, right. Like once per detach or something. Because they're going to release something stupid like it can like uh, negate a, a spell or an effect and then yeah, it can't be destroyed. And it's just going to dominate the meta for like six months. Yeah, you know, you get um when Xe's come out, you're going to get to the term toolbox because Yes. The, the possibilities are literally endless. You know, there's Xyz monsters that shuffle monsters back into the deck, pop cards. There's Xyz monsters that, like, take half of your opponent's monsters attack and put it onto their own. They, like, suck up monsters. You know, they have a ton of different effects. It's, it's pretty crazy. But, yeah, you know, I'm excited. We got to see yeah. what they get. I mean, uh, knowing Konami... Uh, look up this card called Gem Knight Pro. They're probably going to give us... Yeah, 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 yeah. I know this one. <laughs> They're probably going to give us that guy. He's uh... it's a... There's a dash, yeah. It's just a, it's just oh, no. a beater, right? I don't want to get you guys. Yeah, he's... Uh... <laughs> That's he's... the first one we're getting. <laughs> yeah, we're probably going to get that one. But, uh, you know, we can always dream. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when my son first started collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards, he never really played. He's, he just liked getting the cards when he was little. And I bought him some packs. I think we got like four of these, you know, because <laughs> it was so so common in the packs that we were buying. I yeah. thought it was pretty good. Yeah. yeah, he was in a, like a star pack, I believe. One of those like dollar store packs. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that, that's the stuff I was buying. <laughs> yeah, so you know, I'm really excited for XCs. I, I want to play some cool archetypes. I want to get rid of these dark magic circles, man. You know, they got, I don't need to draw cosmic. Just get rid of that shit. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you liked the video. We always like sitting around talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! And especially all the XZs hype. Hopefully they actually come out and Konami doesn't put it off for another year or something like that. But uh, if you do like it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow us on Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. Uh, because when you're in the discord, that's where we do all of our tournaments. That's where we announce them and our tournaments are always free to join. So make sure to yes. check that out. And if you are watching this video within a week of its release, we are hosting our 1000 subscriber YouTube tournament link in the description, in the description, get in the discord, the links in the discord as well. Uncapped singly limb, a hundred dollars, get in there. And make sure to check out gamer subs. There's a link for that in the description below. You can use that for uh use the code dle for 10 percent off so um yeah i hope you like the video and we're gonna see you next time i'm circus that's Kamel and pds see ya peace out